Good morning, everybody. I'll be continuing the lecture, on basic part of surface production operations. Uh, so this lecture contains like fluid properties and some surface uh, production operation related introduction. So surface facility when we are talking about, so that means we have one choke. From choke, it will go to separators. Separators. So uh, why separators are required? So from well bore, you are getting fluid. Uh, so before that, we'll have well head. And uh, well head is getting fluid from well bore. Okay. So during completion stage, you we fix all this well head uh, choke everything, and you fix separator also. And in separator, you are getting three phase, four phase separation. Uh, what are the different uh, phases? Oil, water, gas, sand. Okay, from well bore you are getting this, the, uh, uh, these three fluids: oil, water, gas, and you are getting solid sand also. So separator will have two phase separator, three phase separator. Okay, two phase, three phase. Okay, from two phase, three phase separator on separation done, gas will go. To your customer, or maybe compression after compression, uh, you are sending to customer. For example, CNG you are using um, in your vehicles or Indian or other gas cylinders are there coming to your home. So the the gas is also coming from your uh, oil and gas upstream industry. And if you have water, you uh, dispose it properly. Because uh, water, you cannot use that water. And if you have oil, you send to refineries. Okay, how to send? Maybe tanker will be there. Maybe a pipeline will be there. Okay, so crude oil you are sending to refineries. So refinery will be producing diesel, diesel, petrol. Kerosene and many other components. Now, how to separate? So, in our course, we'll be uh, focusing on this part. Okay. So, separator. So, separator. Uh, let's say oil gas choke. Choke is giving this. Then you have two phase separator. So, two phase separator will separate liquid gas gas liquid and that can be sand also will be there okay so gas if you get so gas you cannot use directly because it will have certain amount of water content moisture and it may contain uh, corrosive gas or acidic gas so you have to separate that one also so you will have contactor column okay from contactor column purified gas you send to customer. Okay, and liquid whatever you are getting, liquid will have oil and water. Oil plus water. Okay, so there also because uh, let's say initial pressure P, so after two phase pressure will be P minus delta P. Certain amount of pressure will be lost. Okay. So, every stage of separation, you are getting reduced pressure, reduced pressure, reduced pressure, pressure will be going down. So, at high pressure, amount of gas or low volatility, uh, low volatile component will be dissolved more, but when you are releasing pressure, your volatility will, uh, volatile gas, uh, or volatile gas will be removed, getting removed from the oil or liquid. So, first phase to phase, your pressure is higher. You got certain amount of gas coming out. When you are going to separate oil and water, there again you are reducing pressure. So, your some amount of gas will be coming out from a liquid. So, again you are getting gas. Okay. Again you are uh, sending to contactor column, then you are sending to customer. So, here you are getting oil, water separated. Okay. So, this oil actually you cannot send to your refineries directly. Why? Oil will have certain amount of water particle, it can have certain amount of sand, uh, 
so you have to remove all those impurities ok. So, again every stage of separation pressure will be going down. So, some gas will go out and you will getting oil water ok. This oil small amount of oil is there uh, gas water whatever things are there you have to remove everything then you send to your stock tank ok. The stock tank is stored once storage done from there tanker or pipeline maybe tanker or transportation mechanism will be there to send to your uh, refineries. Now, water every stage you are getting and gas also every stage you are getting. So, gas will go to your contractor column again because that is gas may be low pressure, but you cannot release in atmosphere that will be polluting or you cannot use directly because that may have corrosive gases or it will be having water content also, water means moisture content. So, you cannot send any gas to customer with moisture content or corrosive gas. So, you have to remove those then you have to send to customer. If you have very low pressure gas in that case you compress it and you put to your contactor column you remove all the water and unnecessary particles then you send to customer. Uh, regarding water, whatever water you got you cannot dispose the water everywhere uh, wherever you like. Why? Because water will have uh, sand, maybe basic sand, maybe some amount of oil ok. And this water if oil content is there traces of hydrocarbon. So, that hydrocarbon you cannot dispose because it will be destroying your aquifer zone ok. So, you have to remove all the hydrocarbon content and you can dispose maybe you can reinject in coil bore or so that way you can dispose ok. So, disposal one issue. So, if you are producing more water that actually it will take more money because disposal one another problem ok. And if you are getting sand any time that also will be one challenging job because sand may contain hydrocarbon particle. So, hydrocarbon particle is there you cannot use that one randomly everywhere ok. Uh, you have to remove hydrocarbon and you can dispose. So, the task is huge actually you got choke initially two phase gas and liquid separate then gas you whatever gas you are getting you put some gas separation unit. So, you purify gas you send to customer whatever liquid you got water oil separate water dispose after removing all the hydrocarbon oil you remove water particle you remove other unnecessary impurities send to stock tank or tanker then you transport to your refineries. So, this is a pressure. Now, uh, it is looking like so simple, but there will be some issue. For example, if you have emulsion, so emulsion will not allow oil and water to separate quickly, ok. So, you have to do some mechanism, for example, heating or maybe you have to use some electrostatic precipitator you have to use or some other mechanism where emulsion can be broken and you can get oil and water separator quickly. The next is that what will be the size of the separator, how big it should be what is the flow rate, what is the pressure rating. They say in well bore some after certain time what water is coming more. So, either same separator will be working or you have to change the separator or your gas rate changed because of gas rate change your contractor column mechanism whatever there whether that will be there or not or you have to change some certain mechanism or some separate system. So, that you can accommodate multiple well bore will be there, but one gas gathering system or separate systems will be there on, on, on the ocean surface like platform in semi submersible or uh, on your land wells. So, there are different level of difficulty. So, this course will discuss all these uh, things like uh, how to separate gas, how to separate waters, oil uh, and what are the different mechanism, how to calculate the dimensions this will be containing. Ok. When about talking about separator in surface production operations separator. So, there will be two type basically a separator vertical and horizontal there will be one spherical type separator also. So, separator can be like vertical uh, horizontal and spherical. Later we will discuss details of uh, different mechanism of uh, separate how they are separating. So, 
So, normally spherical will be used for offshore application, uh, normal application, horizontal and vertical separator very common. And horizontal also there will be single tube, single tube, later we will discuss in details, uh, double tube, okay. So, uh, there will be skimmer, heater, treater, there will be uh, flow control mechanism, flow control mechanism. Uh, flow control mechanism, pressure gauges, pressure. So, many other equipment will be there on the surface productions operation. So, we will discuss later. So, uh, whenever talking about separator two phase three phase, so just I will discuss one or two separators simply in briefly. Let us say I have one horizontal type separator, it will be looking like this, and fluid from choke is coming. After choke, let us say fluid is coming like this, okay. So, this fluid when at very high velocity is coming, it will be falling like this, okay. And it is creating two phase flow. There will be one gas extraction unit, this is called mist extractor, this term called mist extractor. This is gas is going out like this, okay. And this is two phase flow initially I, I am assuming. So, there will be water plus oil, okay. If sand is there then sand can be deposited at the bottom also, but you can go through water and oil channel also. But how to control the level? Let us say this is water and oil here, okay. Now, continuously you are getting gas, continuous choke, uh, fluid from choke is coming. Now, if you are not maintaining that level of water and oil, this layer, okay, what will happen? The level will go up after certain time very high or level will go below the outlet of oil and gas. That means, you must control the level, okay. So, there will be certain mechanism called level controller, okay, level controller, level controller, okay. So, this is called gravity separator. Two phase means gas and liquid will be separated, this is two phase flow. Now, if I go for three phase, three phase mechanism will be almost similar, but it will create three layers. Oil and water will enter, oil, water, gas. Okay, again mist extractor is there, gas will go, okay. Oil you take, gas you take. Again every time you must have one level controller, okay. So, uh, level controller will be here. So, this level controller will be controlling water level will be there, uh, oil level will be there. If we have higher water level, so oil outlet will get water or water outlet will get oil or gas will be coming out through the oil outlet. So, you have to control this level controller properly so that system will be working without any problem. If you do not maintain this level properly then system will not work, work after some time and there will be multiple problems. Okay. Now, you got three phases, you have water, let us say you got water. So, water you have to separate certain way that water hydrocarbon particle will be almost removed, then you can dispose. Oil, you again pass through another level of separator, okay. There you remove small, very small, small, tiny, tiny water particle also you have to remove. Then after that you can send to your customer. And gas, we will discuss later. Okay. Gas separation. So, gas separation actually when you have gas, gas can have moisture, it can have your H2S, uh, CO2, okay. Basically, H2S and CO2, those are acidic gas or sour gas, okay. If these components are not there, normally it will be called sweet gas, okay. So, if how to remove that, okay. So, for that, they will create contactor column, amine or 
glycol separation unit. Okay, so uh, you inject your gas and you separate, you remove this H2 or H2S, this is a contactor column. Later we will discuss in details how this uh, function, uh, this contractor column is working. Okay. So, contractor column actually it will have glycol, glycol separately unit. So, glycol will remove H2O and amine solution, amine solution removes acidic gas ok. So, if you have amine solution you can remove H, uh, uh, you, 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 you can remove H 2 S or CO 2 if you have water content then you can remove uh, you can use uh, glycol. So, this way this contactor column works. Mm -hmm.